Hi everyone. Welcome to the another episode of Real World Tasks presented by Four Eye Glance. I am going to share you a very interesting thing which will allow you to manage the resources in your account. Okay, and on the in the extended way, it also allow you to do the cost allocation for the users. Now let me show you. the task which you have to do in order to validate your skills so this is the task which you have to go and perform now this task is something whenever user go and create an ec2 instance in the aws account so in that case the ec2 instance should be tagged by few key and values so the mandatory thing which we have to go and define is the honor key and the value will be the arn of the user who is going to create the resource right so this is what your task is now let me show you that what you need to perform in order to achieve this so first of all click on this launch instance choose the amazon machine image any image which you want and i'm going with all the default options click on this configure instance detail click on this add storage click on this add tags and now the tags are something which allow you to manage the resources in the aws account right there are different kind of tags available so i will be giving a tag that is name and the value let's say i'm going to create application server okay so this is what is the tag value i have given and this is going to tag uh, the instance and the volumes too now as soon as this instance launch in the account so the user tag should also available that is the owner tag the creator tag should be available on this instance so that we can identify that who is the owner of this this resource right and in case of any event we can actually go and contact them and uh, we can also go and you know uh, allocate a cost amount so that you know if they exceeded the given cost so in that case we just go and revoke the permission and stop the resources used by them okay so there are like lot of use cases which we have available which we can go and do by using tax now let's go and click on this instance and now let's see the tags whether the tax are available or not so that's really great you can see like the name tag is available right so key is name and the value is application server now we have this account which is account id and it is showing me the consent cost center which is getting fetched from the aws organization and now we have this owner right so we have this owner and it is showing you that the starod user have created this resource okay now you might be wondering that from where i got all these informations on this instance yes so this is possible whenever you go and launch any any instance in the account so in that case we have a cloud uh, cloud watch event rules and that event rule will be will be having the data about our this instance and it is going to trigger a lambda function and that lambda function will be assuming a role and then tagging this ec2 instance okay so let me show you that one of the most important thing which you have to go and define that is cloud watch event rule in order to perform this activity okay so this is the cloud watch event rule and let me go and click on edit button and here you can see like we have this service name that is ec2 we have this event type that is aws api call via cloud trail so you need to make sure that the cloud trail is enabled in your account okay and this is something where you go and define that you wanted to tag the resources which the user creates okay not for the stop instances not for the running instances you only wanted to tag the resources which is been created by the by the user okay so that is what we have run instances now this is the preview of the uh, preview pattern preview okay and the, on the right hand side you have defined the target that what will be the target cloudwatch event rule will be sending all these data to the lambda function that is what we have defined and the name of the lambda function is api okay so this lambda function in this lambda function we have defined a code that is uh, that is like it is going to uh, like process the instance available in the account and it will be giving a tag value by assuming a role okay so this is all what we have to go and perform 
Now, I hope that you got the pretty much understanding that what you need to achieve in order to validate your skill. And if you have any questions to ask, so you can ask me in the comment box. And if you like this video and if you want to encourage us to upload more and more videos like this, so you can go and click on this like button and uh, also share also share with your colleagues and friends uh, so that they can also go and you know validate their skills keep on watching our videos and click on subscribe button if you haven't thank you for watching have a good day